I can't believe that they just said that. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I've watched Jimmy Carr and Frankie Boyle, two comedians that some people find offensive. Personally, I don't think comedy is offensive. It's a joke. Take it for what it is. But if you are, buckle up because today we are going to watch the most offensive jokes ever. I mean, how bad can they really be? The answer is three billion. What is the question? Is it what is the excess on Richard Hammond's car insurance? He's <laughs> <laughs> walking around. <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's probably not funny for any mildly autistic people in the audience. <laughs> uh, then again, nothing is. Object <laughs> is ill-advised things to say in court. The case for the prosecution is based on one compelling piece of evidence. The defendant is black. Describes <laughs> <laughs> the Dostoevsky metro station with its depressing murals as the mecca for suicides. Not to be confused with the mecca for suicide bombers, <laughs> which is mecca. <laughs> According to the Times... to sit around watching people open empty boxes all day, I'd spend Christmas morning at Kerry Katona's house. <laughs> uh, unlikely lines to read in the Bible. <laughs> the characters in this book are entirely fictitious. <laughs> you know why so many American kids die in high school massacres? It's because they're not allowed to run in the corridors. <laughs> Take your time with that, that's wrong on a number of levels. <laughs> now, if there's any Muslim fundamentalists in the room, right? You see this microphone? I'm calling it Muhammad, right? And it's fucking gay. It's a gay microphone called Muhammad, and all it wants to do is roll the Quran up and fuck itself up the ass. Now, now for me, the luckiest guy in the world. Jack Tweed, Jade Goody's old boyfriend. <laughs> I haven't fucking done it yet. Because <laughs> he presumably made some money out of selling his story. Got plenty of sympathy sex, apparently consensual. <laughs> Doesn't have to bring up the kids, they're somebody else's kids. And because she died from cervical cancer during the three weeks that they were married, she got thinner and better looking and her pussy got tighter. <laughs> Before the cancer, she'll have had a fanny like a canoe. <laughs> you don't know whether to finger her or get in and row her. <laughs> a lot of guys on dates going, this isn't funny. <laughs> I'd like to be in that wedding ceremony. <gasps> to death do you part? Friday? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. Hello, Nana. Hello, Grandad. Hello, Uncle, who used to touch me. <laughs> How did you get up here? <laughs> oh, that's right, you used to work for the church. <laughs> <laughs> they had around one time things you would say that would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. And I said, if we're all here, Who's looking after Madeline? <laughs> I personally think global warming is a myth, like World War II and women's rights. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Here's my opinion, for what it's worth. I think you know a girl is too young for you if you're having to make the aeroplane noise to get your cock in her mouth. <laughs> Here comes the train into the tunnel. <laughs> Famous last word. Stingrays love foreplay. <laughs> I'll bet you I can jump that ticket barrier. 
People say dolphins are really intelligent. I think, yeah, but only compared to the retarded kids we got them swimming with. <laughs> On the subject of abortions, a lot of people support a woman's right to choose. But I think, if I'm paying for it... <laughs> I'm joking, I never pay. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything to fall down the stairs, does it? <laughs> Some of these girls, I swear, they think I'm made of coat hangers. <laughs> They say there's safety in numbers, yeah? Tell that to six million Jews. <laughs> really, London? Really? A round of applause? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Whatever it is, it's heading straight for the World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Joker? You'll be back. Somehow, I don't think you will be. Ninety-nine <laughs> <laughs> percent of women kiss with their eyes closed, which is why it's so difficult to identify a rapist. <laughs> Let's have a little time out there <laughs> and discuss the rules of the gig. Skating outfit. I, I've got this image of all these record producers coming up to her and going, <laughs> So, Kaylee, we're doing this new rave thing, and it's like this 80s synthesizer, and her just going, Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> all right. And you've got to wear like this uh, futuristic roller skating outfit. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds fine. How much am I getting paid for this? Oh, 10 million dollars, 10. Oh, I'll put that in my savings account. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a baby. Oh, that's a... Oh. <laughs> You to mention. <laughs> Apparently Jordan and Peter Andre are fighting each other over custody of Harvey. Although eventually one of them will lose and have to keep him. Oh. <laughs> I have a theory that Jordan married a cage fighter because she needed someone strong enough to stop Harvey from fucking her. My last tour, and I don't give a fuck anymore. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was. That was. A fool. Honestly, I love that Jimmy Carr and Frankie Boyle nearly made up that entire video. And I know many people will disagree with me, but I like the shock factor of their jokes. Like, I like the fact that you never know what they're going to come out with. And then when they do, you're left thinking, did he actually just say that out loud? But that's the point. Like, to test and see how far they can go before there's no coming back. And, I mean, you probably saw it over my face. Like, it is that, like, oh, like I can't believe that they just said that. And... Which, obviously, another thing you probably see my face is some of the jokes. Obviously, I didn't know who the people were, so you could probably tell if someone went over my head. Um, but overall, I thought it was really funny. Jimmy Carr is probably my favorite for this type of humor. His delivery just cracks me up, coupled with that little laugh he does. I know not everyone likes it, but I think it's funny. And I think he's brilliant. He's good at what he does. Although... I could make this up. But I feel like someone has told me that Frankie writes or wrote some of Jimmy's jokes. Is that true? I don't know. I could be making that up. But I could definitely see that being true. Because Frankie can be brutal. Just like Jimmy. But in the best ways. But who do you like more? Jimmy or Frankie? Or is there another comedian that is similar that I'm unaware of? And if that's the case, let me know who they are so we can watch them. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.